hola everyone hello okay so this is a third video that i'm recording today it is saturday so i pretty much have free time the whole day to read do whatever i gotta do um and i decided to dedicate it to making videos which makes me happy now this video that i'm doing right now is a little about me okay so um I know I go under Enchantress, Enchantress Kikchow, and I will tell you the reason why in a minute. But you can just call me Enchantress or whatever you want. I am 26 years old and I have uh, dedicated my life to um, the craft ever since I was 15, 14, 14 or 15 years old okay my entire life i have always been very interested in paranormal um in the craft uh, all the good stuff but i was basically taken away from it uh during my childhood because i was raised a pentecostal christian which i had to unlearn everything that i was taught to relearn to make room for my new beliefs okay my new path that i follow and at times it is still a struggle because it was basically like implanted into my head like a chip what I learned growing up and it just made it made things a lot harder but it made it fun because unlearning to relearn is really like is re like you start you you're able to see things differently like a lot different um i am a mother i have three kids i have two girls and a boy i have six guinea pigs and one hamster i uh was born in jersey city but i was raised in brooklyn new york up until i was 18 that was when i moved to new jersey and i miss new york so much it is my home i love the city and I try to go back as as often as I can. I just don't want to pay fifteen dollars on a toll, and I don't like taking the train because I'm a I'm a target. I'm like a target for like those angry homeless people. I'm like you did it. I'm like no, I didn't. <laughs> Seriously though. Um. Okay. Now my when I first started out into the path, I began studying Wicca. Okay, and growing up my father's side of the family were known as santeros okay they uh worked in santeria now my mother's side of the family they were just witches they just did the craft they are mediums they're psychics um so that was that they didn't have a specific path that they followed okay now um for me for, uh, starting out with wicca was actually a really good thing because you know of course it changed like i don't i'm not wiccan anymore and i don't follow the wiccan read i don't believe in the three times three rule so there there's a lot that has changed but i'm really glad to have been able to start out with wicca it really is a beautiful path to follow okay um after wicca i began you know i was i started out learning watching um youtube witches that was my way to learn because growing up I was poor. I couldn't afford to go and buy, you know, um, books to study the craft. So I went online and I researched and I was a part of uh, like these websites like uh, Spells of Magic was like the first uh, witchy website that I signed up for. I started out by watching Charming Pixie Flora. That was my girl. I was so mad when she quit YouTube, like when she quit doing the videos. I was angry and rest um, God rest her soul God has rest her soul uh, tiptoe chick I also watched her which as you know she was a Wiccan she is how I learned how to make tinctures okay um and there are just a bunch of them that inspired me to follow my path and not give a shit what anyone thinks even though i was extremely secretive growing up about it i didn't tell anyone ever um i think there was just like two people that i told her three or whatever but other than that i didn't tell no one 
Um, you probably hear my guinea pigs running around back there. I don't really know what to say now. Okay, so after that, I looked into paganism. After paganism, I went into hoodoo. Okay, I began uh, researching hoodoo. I began working with hoodoo. I began incorporate incorporating um, Wicca, and then as I was doing hoodoo, I began to sorry, it's my son. I began to research um, a whole bunch of different spiritual paths and even buddhism like i even looked into buddhism which is buddhism is oh my god like you have no idea like that religion is that spiritual path excuse me is extremely peaceful and i i i fell in love with it i looked in hinduism i began uh decoding the bible well i've been doing that for a while but i got even more into it okay so there was like there was a lot like and then after a while, I was like, I don't follow any spiritual path. Like, I am one with the universe. I am a goddess. I do consider myself a witch, but I am a goddess. I then realized that I have the power over my own life. What happens, what's wrong with it, everything is all me. Which I told you guys before in a previous video. I am a collector of crystals, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a collector of crystals. Um, I also, right now, I am into Santeria. Mainly, one of my main fo uh, one of my main spiritual paths right now is Santeria. But that doesn't mean that I still don't work with others. I still incorporate everything. And I have been told, yes, Benny, we know that I cannot do that. But I was told by my Godfather that I am allowed to do it, just because of all of the jealous and envious people that surround me so i gladly do it now <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> um i'm a joker i like to joke a lot that has always been an issue like i just think life is too short to take everything so serious like i can't be serious like i try to be serious about a situation but i'll just end up laughing and making a joke out of it because i have problems of course I want to show you guys my witchy room too, so I'm gonna do that video. I'm probably gonna do that video tomorrow because I my my daughter also wants to get her YouTube channel started up, and you know I don't got a problem with that, you know. Hello, I'll link her um her YouTube down below. So, oh okay, so I um I'm Puerto Rican, not born in Puerto Rico, of course. Like I just said, I'm was born in Jersey City, but I'm Puerto Rican, and I did my ancestry DNA, and I am going to take screenshots, and I'm going to attach it to this video at the end. I thought that, that, hello, <laughs> I love it, you know, like, yeah, and I'm just trying to think of what else to say. I really don't know what else to say. Oh, okay, so I work at a dental office. I manage the front, um, the front desk, and I also am the office floater. Wherever I need it, I will go. So there will be times where I will go with my boss in the op, and I will, and I will assist him chair side. Do I like doing it? No. Do I do it? Yes. So be grateful, Doc. Um, another thing is... Uh, I, I can't I can't really think of my, much to say. I have five older brothers, pains in my asses. I have a bunch of nieces, and I have two nephews. So I think I have like ten nieces and two nephews. If I'm not mistaken, hold on, let me see. Yeah, I got a lot of nieces. I have too damn many. Oh, I'm lying. I don't. My daughter, say Wait, hi. Mommy. I'm making a video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my little girl. That's my youngest. But um, I have one, two. I have four nephews. I have four nephews. I love my babies, all of them. And um, yeah. So. I don't know what else to say. I never really 
know what to say when someone's like, oh, tell me about yourself. No, you tell me. Wait, you tell me about yourself. Sorry, just watching her in the camera. But yeah, so I'm very secretive and I'm very protective over my children. So if you have me on social media, like Instagram, this is probably the first time you've ever seen my kid. I never, first of all, I have over 6,000 followers on Instagram. I don't know anyone, so I will not post my children up because there are a lot of sickles. There are a lot of weirdos out there. And things will not look cute for you. So just saying, you know. <laughs> um, I like doing hair. I like doing makeup. I'm not the best at it, but that doesn't mean I can't still learn. I still have time for improvements. Um... I am working on becoming a stay-at-home mom, a 100% stay-at-home mom, and that is what I want to do. I always wanted to raise my own kids, but I always had to work. I, when I gave birth to my last daughter, like a week later, I was back in work. That was the hardest thing ever for me. Like, I cried, like, all the time at work because I was, like, separation anxiety. Mommy! Yes? <gasps> you got it? Yeah. Okay. And I love being a mother. I love being a witch. I don't know what else to say. So I'm going to end this. And if you guys have any questions, you guys can answer below. And I will do a separate video answering them, okay? I should have a good weekend. And I'll talk to you guys later.